Hello, welcome in to you, welcome in, glad to have you. We are on PGA Tour on Tour, heading to Sawgrass. See how we do. I'm doing too well. Last game, uh, last round was horrible. Game glitch on me again. Game glitch. I should be out of bounds, that's for sure. You have me yet? Hit that like and subscribe button. Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud golfing. to bring you today's events. Today's coverage of the Fellowship Open is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, one of the great voices on the PGA Tour. Beamer, great to have you in the booth, mate. Luke, most people call me Mr. Amazing. Thank you very kindly. I've seen worse looking swings in a playground. Oh, he's hit a tree. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. Going with the seven. Wow, did this come out beautifully. I think that ugly lie really affected them on that shot. Not a surprising result, really. That's a well-played chip shot there. Such soft hands. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. This shot coming from around 220 yards. Looks like they've got the five wood. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting after this par five in two. As they should. What a play. Hopefully they'll be rewarded for that play. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. He finds himself in a share of 13th. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. And he's hit that inside the range. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. This is on a stupendous line. Some momentum being built now. That's there you back go. To back Very birdies. good. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Why not take another look at that effort? Now this, this is how you putt. Take another look at this. Finds himself in a share of seventh. Here we are at the fourth hole. What kind of rhythm is that? It must be tough falling out of bed every day with a rhythm like that. This is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Oh my! Right wow! Down. Lovely moment here. I was a sh shocker. A tie for third. Just two shots back after that hole. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Yeah, that one will play. Setting up here, coming off a run of birdies. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. Oh. 
not sure if that's how they drew it up. And here we are with the third shot. Just a couple back from our leader. Wow, that almost went in the hole. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Yeah, nice little 25 footer here from him. Outside chance, so it'll be good to hold. He's got this for his part. Oh, what a shame it didn't drop, but that looked good the whole way. Now, three strokes back after that hole. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. <laughs> Lovely effort, that. Second shot here on the sixth. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. And as good as they putt, you almost have to get Very good, very this good. Way. See, I know how to golf. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four. Oh, great swing there. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 145 yards. That's a tad wayward. Not quite finding the surface. And he needs this to save par. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. Well hold. Trailing by four strokes. We've reached the eighth hole. Going with a three wood here. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. And he's safely on the green with that shot. 19 feet to the hole. Didn't quite judge the speed on that one. Well, that'll maintain the momentum. Nice par par. Now four back after that hole. Time now to take in the ninth hole. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. Well, Rich, this is quite an interesting vibe, isn't it? Usually we're here for the Players' Championship and it's, uh, millions of people are watching around the world and thousands at the stadium course. But these players on the Corn Ferry Tour are sort of getting a, a glimpse of what life on the big stage might be like. Well, I tell you what, I can promise you the pressure coming down the home stretch. Playing Two 16, lucky bounces. 17, 18, trying to win this tournament. It's going to feel just like it does at the Players' Championship. These holes don't get any harder or any easier with or without the fans. It's going to be exciting to watch. Look at the old hammer hands putt. Trying to get it to four under with this putt. Ooh, right by the hole. Putting for a par now. Uh, it never feels nice. A three putt par here. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. Oh, well done. Henny, what's the player facing here? He's got roughly 105 yards here.
Well played, mate. This putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. Just missing the booty there. That's a shame. He's currently tied for seventh. Oh, exciting times on the tee of a par five. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Sitting at minus three and a share of seventh. Getting ready to play their third. Five strokes behind our leader. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? This putt for inside the top five on the leaderboard. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And that will take him to four under. He finds himself currently tied for fifth. Let's head to the 12th hole. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. That's nicely done. This putt to move into a share of second place. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Trailing by four strokes. Now it's time to take a look at this 13th hole. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Oh my. And ladies and gentlemen, that wow. is laser light. Took a great deal of accuracy there. Oh, a shocker. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 190 yards. Opting for the hybrid, I think. They get a little ground draw here. Not a bad play, that one. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Ouch, that hurts. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. This is what they have left for par. And he finds himself in a tie for third. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Bit disappointing, that one. Sitting at five under for the day. Currently tied for third. This putt to move into a tie for second. Oh, so close. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. Just didn't drop. Bogey putt coming up here. And there it is. Now four back after that hole. This hole is a par five.
wonderfully played. Time for the second shot at the 16th. Where will this one end up? And here we are with the third shot. Four shots behind our leader. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? Luke, I, I really don't think this is going to happen, but you know what? I've been wrong before, and it could happen again. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Trailing by four strokes. And now striding onto the tee of this par three hole. That's just inside the range. And a chance to move into a tie for second here. Oh, that's frustrating. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. He was on a good line. Putting for bogey here. He's in a share of ninth place. Let's head to the final hole of this round. Playing from around 160 yards. Five shots off the pace. And choosing the eight iron here. Pretty good shot there. Good chance to take it even deeper here. This putts for four under. Okay. Steady now. Oh, that's too bad. And with that putt, concludes this player's round. Well, Rich, not sure about you, but I thought that day wow. was an absolute doozy. I did this good. This player seems to be in decent shape, don't they? No, Early doors, hopefully but I better. saw some pretty that's good room. signs of life out there. I like what they're doing. That's I think they can stay composed for the next three days. Not bad. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Bean, I'm Luke Elvin. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company. Alright, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. Till next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.